Baptist, not getting paid to preach the gospel. I'm a free, independent, God sent mercenary. Sent to strip you out of everything that's not like God. Don't care what you own. Don't care the kind of house you have, the kind of car you drive. Don't give two cents about how much money you have. That don't mean nothing to me. You're going to leave here the way you came. You came here broke. You're gone out broke. Nigga, you came into the world. Nigga, you shall return. So we are grateful to our guest minister. We thank you for being present. If there's any other ministers out there, you're welcome to come on up here in the dugout because it's going to get hot up here. Yeah, man, you're more than welcome. Make yourself at home. I'm not your enemy. I'm the enemy to the devil. I will always be the devil's enemy. I believe that God only have one church. God don't have churches. Get me. God only have one church. And that's what I want to talk about tonight. Let us see are we in God's church. I didn't ask you do you go to church. That's your problem. You've been going to church so long. Church is a contributing factor to deception. Do you know many people that go to church are very sincere, really want to be saved? But even the sinner know 99.9% .9 of the junk going on in church, he know that trash shouldn't be in there. And the sinner lost respect for what is called church. What is called church now that's not God's church. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? There are many old timers that used to preach what we're preaching. When they had a church about the size of this stage. But then when the church got larger and the offering pans turned to trash cans, and the cash flow didn't stop, and he got in limousines, and church started buying him jets, and bought him a mansion, and sent his kids to private school. Well, then the bishop changed, and the things that he used to preach against, now he built up. And the word of God says this, if you build up again the things you destroy, you make yourself a transgressor. Now, school don't make preachers. I've never been to Bible college since I've been black, and I've been black 58 years. <laughs> There's God to make a preacher. And God preacher, believe, preach, and practice what's in God's word. I, the first time I heard someone say, you better than Google. <laughs> I'm going to remember that. Amen. Better than Google. Amen. <laughs> it is a good one. Amen. But the church have changed, brothers and sisters. God have me traveling throughout the world and not getting paid for doing it. That's right. My love for the people is what got me here in Little Rock, Wicked Saw. That's what got me here. I saw a big Pentecostal church, large Pentecostal church. Saw a big apostolic church. UPC is here. PAW is here. Church of God in Christ is here. Church of God in Prophecy is here. Church of the Living God, Church Assemblies of God. Oh, you got all these churches that are here. Yeah. Glory to God. That's right. But are you in the church started by the Lord Jesus Christ? That's it. All right, let's go to work in the book of Matthew, William. That's where I want to first lay my foundation. But right in to Matthew. all of my viewers, we're broadcasting live today. 
this evening uh, out of Little Rock, Arkansas, to all of our brothers and sisters throughout Europe and throughout America and Canada. We greet all the churches in Dubai and Africa and in the South Pacific, near Japan, across the Fiji Islands, Samoan Islands, to the saints in Australia and New Zealand, everywhere. Get your Bibles ready. Call your pastor. That's right. And his second wife. <laughs> mm -hmm. Call your pastor and his boyfriend. That's right. Am I right? Amen. You know, these men get tired of the women. They go pick up the men. You got bishop. You know, preachers got first lady. We don't believe in that foolishness. My wife is not the first lady. The first lady is dead. Her name is Eve. But today, the preachers, some of them dropped first lady and got the first man. That's right. What do you mean the first man? I mean the preacher got his boyfriend, which is his so-called husband, the first man. Right. Now, this is how church has failed. Church supposed to preach us out of sin. But church have become, they accommodate us in sin. That's right. They are afraid to offend anybody. And the reason why they are afraid to offend you because they're afraid you won't give money. The purpose of church, let us go back to the original purpose. When God instructed Noah, hear the old troublemaker, to build an ark for the saving of his house, so people can have an escape route from the judgment that was coming upon the world during that time. That's what the church is for. The church is the ark to save humanity from the fire that's coming. But what the churches are doing now, they are not saving you. They are damning you. Who would ever thought this trash will be in churches until the people be in it so long, nobody see nothing wrong with it. And then the sinners on the outside, they look and tell you, man, you ain't in no church. And then the so-called Christian that go to church argue with the sinner and say, yes, we are. And the sinner said, no, you're not. And the sinner tell the truth and the so-called Christian tell the lie. That's right. How did church get like this? They don't like me. They say he think he's the only one right. No, I don't. I believe God is the only one right. Yeah. But nobody under the sun will convince me that this multi-religious selection came from God. That's right. There is no such thing. You believe what you want to believe. And I believe what I want to believe. And we all won down inside. Who told you that lie? Come on back to Bible. Come on back to Bible. I'm making a universal call here. That's right. We was in Charlotte, North Carolina two weeks ago. Amen. 105 went down in the name of Jesus Christ in two days. You don't find nothing like this being done nowhere. Nowhere in America is people coming to a hard, rough gospel like this. Amen. They go to church for the wrong reason. They go to church looking for a miracle. You're supposed to go to church to come out of sin. That's right. They go to church looking for a green blessing. You supposed to go to church to be preached out of sin. That's it. You go to church to go wife shopping, to go husband shopping, or to go see the preacher, your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you supposed to come to church to learn the intelligence of God, the standard of God, the ways of God, God's agenda concerning you. If you got any other reason to come to church, stay home. You hear me tell you over the air, stay home. That's right. I'm wasting your money going to church. If you're going to go to hell 
at least don't go broke. All oh, these $5,000 prayer line, $10,000 prayer line, and some old crook in your church get up and say the Lord spoke to him and said there's $5,000 in the house, and then he let out some tongue. And then some other fellow hypocrite out there get in a spirit. Amen. Preacher, stand over the offering plate like a buzzer, wash a corpse. That's right. Are you in the church that Jesus started? That goes for you preachers up here too. That's right. There's only one church. I didn't come to Little Rock to make friends. I come to preach the gospel. That's what I'm here for. I didn't come to befriend nobody. You see, I, I came from the hood. Jesus came from the hood. That's right. That's why the Bible says, can anything clean come out of Nazareth? That's right. We are victims of man-made religion that we thought was church. That's right. Just go to the Bible and see can you find your religion in that Bible. If you are Baptist, don't brag. Go to the Bible. And see, did the Bible ever had a Baptist church? Wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. What about John the Baptist? John the Baptist, was he, his occupation was a baptizer. His religion wasn't Baptist. Because if you say John the Baptist's religion was Baptist, now you make a fool out of John. Because John said, I'm not the light. Not the light. But I come to bear witness of the light. That's right. Everybody should be what God is. That's it. If you are Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, non-denominational, apostolic, Pentecostal, Mormon, Muslim, five percenters, two percenters, three percenters, Masons, Elks, Klansmen. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Go to the Bible. That's right. Don't brag about what you are. Take your religion to the Bible. And if you can't find it in the Bible, why are you dedicated to it? Now, you women that go shopping for washing machines and all that stuff, you mean to tell me a man can just give you a good sell pitch and you don't ask no questions? And you putting out money to buy that merchandise? You mean to tell me you're going to give tithes and offers and sacrifice and help these men build churches and schools and houses for themselves? Yeah. And you don't question their teaching? Yeah. And then the false prophet tell you, don't question God. Tell him you ain't God. That's right. Not only that, it ain't no Bible that tell me I can't question God. I can ask God whatever I want. He know all things. That's right. I can ask God whatever I please. Bible ain't never said, don't question God. The false prophet said that. That's right. So let me ask you again, Arkansas, are you in the church that Jesus started? All right, William, let's go to work. Follow me in your Bible. Matthew chapter 16, we're right at verse 18. Follow me. Get this. Matthew chapter 16 and at verse 18. All right. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. God talking. That's right. Standing up in the body of flesh and blood. That's right. God was manifested in the flesh. And that flesh and blood that he was manifested in was called son of God, servant of God, son of man. That's right. Listen. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. Glory to God. And upon this rock. And upon this rock. I will build my church. And what? And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Are you in that church? That, that church. That church. that church. That church. That's right. That's right. And if you say yes, then how is it you got on your building Bishop Carmichael, founder? Amen. Bishop Jones, founder. Amen. Dr. Cunningham, founder. How in the world are you going to be the founder of God's church? That's right. It ain't no man the founder of God's church. Amen. Now, before you say I'm in the same church, that Jesus started, 
The only way you know you in that church, one, your teaching has to be what Jesus taught. That's right. Two, your belief must be exactly what Jesus believed. That's right. Three, what you allow in your church has to be justified, certified by what Jesus gave his apostles. That's right. All right? That's right. Let's do an investigation mm. because you can't hear Jesus unless you hear the apostles. That's right. You know, a lot of folks say, well, the only thing that Jesus said is in red letters. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. No, listen. If you don't hear the apostles, you don't hear Jesus. That's right. I say, if you don't hear the apostles, you don't hear Jesus. In St. Luke chapter 10 and at verse 16. That's what? He that heareth you. Do you hear what Jesus said to his apostles? Give chapter and verse again. St. Luke chapter 10 and we're at verse 16. He that heareth you. Hear the apostles. Heareth me. Hear me. And he that despiseth you. He that reject the apostles. Despiseth me. Reject Jesus. And he that despiseth me. He that reject Jesus. Despiseth him that sent me. Reject the spirit of God that was in him. That's that's right. That's right. That's right. Are you getting the old man? Amen. So are you in the church that Jesus started? That, All right. Let's mm -hmm. let's let's see. Are we in it? Yeah. Let's start investigating teaching mm -hmm. and compare. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen. We're going to do some surgery tonight. Yeah. Amen. Which things compare. also we speak. I, I want you to compare That's what right. you have mm -hmm. with the Bible. Don't, don't look at Pastor Jenner. Just get me out the picture. Right. Listen now, follow me. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 13. All right. Which things also we speak. Which things also we speak. Not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. Wait a minute. We don't speak how? Not in the words which man's wisdom See, teaches. See, I'm not interested in philosophy and theology. No. That's why I don't have no sermon written out up here. That's right. If my stuff already written. William's got it. That, that's right. Bible says, what shall be things that are written before time and written before our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Yeah. When God give you this, you ain't got to sit up and plan no sermon That's and right. then give it a heading. The green light today, the green light no time. <laughs> That's what you folks used to. When the right. preacher ain't got the sermon written out, he got a whole iPad <laughs> or a laptop up on the pulpit. That's and right. And his whole sermon is already written. Amen. God told his apostles, don't premeditate. Yeah. At the same hour, it'll be given to you what they say. That's you right. You mean to tell me, Pastor Jenny, you ain't never went to school to preach? No. Amen. Preaching is a divine gift. Amen. That come from God. And I don't need no organ to help me. <laughs> That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old man? Which things also we speak. Which things also we speak. Not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. Not in the words that man's wisdom speak. But which the Holy Ghost teaches. Which the Holy Ghost speak. Comparing. Uh oh. Comparing Here, chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter two and verse thirteen. Comparing spiritual things. Spiritual things with spiritual. With spiritual. Glory to God. Amen. Let's compare. Comparing the teachings of today. Amen. Because that's the only way you're gonna know you're in the church that Jesus started. That's right. Never mind what you learn from your bishop, <laughs> because this is what have contaminated the church. Hand me down teaching. Yeah. Do you know what hand me down teaching is? Bishop got it from his bishop, who got it from his bishop, mm -hmm. who got it from his bishop. And now all that hand-me-down theology mm -hmm. that folks was jumping about, screaming about, falling over. Do you know how much stuff that been taught in churches have never been in the Bible? That's right. That's right. Never been in the Bible. You spoke in some kind of tongue and did the boogaloo and... <laughs> jump around and fall all out That's right. and ain't never been in the Bible. Amen. Man wisdom. Man's wisdom teaches. Let's first expose what man wisdom teach. Mm -hmm. The philosophy. Yes. You better give me the book of Colossians. In Colossians chapter 2 and at verse 8. And then we're going to begin to relate some of the philosophy that been taught in churches for years. Oh, yes. And I'm pretty sure when I go through it, a lot of it you're going to have to acknowledge that you heard it. That's right. Listen at this. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. All right. Beware. That's a warning right there. Beware. Let you know something wrong is about to happen or it did happen. Beware. Look out. Lest any man spoil you. Well, lest who? Any man. That got your mother. Your, that got, I mean, that got your father. That got your brother. That got your uncle. That got your grandmama. That's right. That got your husband. Any man. 
that got your bishop, your elder, your so-called apostle. Beware. Look out. Lest any man spoil you. How? Through philosophy. This is what messed the churches up. They're spoiled. Spoiled. They don't want to live holy no more. That's right. They want to be a Christian cigarette sucker. <laughs> That's right. Pipe sucker. Yep. Dice roller. Yeah. Card player. Amen. Pool player. Yeah. Christmas celebrator. Mm. That's, I want this to be good in case I got any uh, Arkansas <laughs> heathens here. <laughs> That's right. Beware. Beware. Beware lest any man spoil you. Ain't no you. Bible said Jesus was born December 25th, you're heathen. That's right. You are heathen. Amen. I don't care if your pastor celebrated, your bishop is a heathen. That's right. If you're a preacher, you're a heathen. That's right. Beware. Look out. Beware lest any man spoil you. When you believe the Bible, the choir won't be getting up singing no Christmas carols. No. There won't be no Christmas plays. Nope. The choir won't get up in red and green robes. That's and right. Bishop come out with a red and green robe. That's to right. To blend in with the choir. There won't be no statues on the church ground of a dirty baby you claim is Mary. Beware. Beware. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. And yet you claim you in the church. In, a amen. You say you in the church. Beware. We doing a Holy Ghost investigation. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Beware. Look out. Beware lest any man spoil you. That's what happened. You got spoiled, spoiled. over the preacher putting his hands over his ears, Amen. hiccuping and breathing like he got bronchitis. <laughs> That's right. Beware. Huh? Amen. It spoiled you. Spoiled. In the church. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The Holy Ghost said. Beware. Look out. Lest any man spoil you. You Christmas heathen. Amen. Only a heathen takes their child heathen. to a mall and sit on the lap of a pervert. That's right. Only a heathen. You claim you love your children? Then tell them the truth. You know there ain't no man coming down your chimney. In Little Rock. <laughs> In Little Rock. <laughs> you know ain't no man coming down your chimney here in Little Rock. That's right. In this city? In this city. <laughs> and Amen. live to talk about it? Amen. Am Amen. I right, I said? Beware. Amen. Amen. Beware, lest any man. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy. When you take a child and spoil it, and let the child have his or her way. Yeah. Then when that child go to grandma and grandpa house, oh, where yeah. there's an atmosphere of discipline, yeah. that child have problems in uh, adapting. Right. Yes, if young parents got a child and the child ain't got to wash his hand before going in the refrigerator, he's able to run across the couch with the shoes on, just step over people without saying, excuse me, no, yes, sir, no, yes, ma'am. That's right. And then get away with it, not being chastised. Yeah. Young folks send their child in the corner and say, time out, time mm -hmm. out to do what? <laughs> Amen. But then when that child come to grandma and grandpa house. Oh, yes. Glory to God that believe in the good old fashioned rod. That's right. The only time out that child have is rubbing his behind to soothe the pain. That's right. Discipline. Discipline. The churches today is like young, inexperienced children trying to raise children. That's right. No discipline. That's right. No instructions, no, instructions. no guidelines, yeah. so everything is freelance. That's right. Family church. Families. That's right. Father is bishop. Yeah. Wife is treasure. Son is secretary. Yeah. The money stay in the family. Oh, yes. Like organized crime. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The only time the Lord deal with bishop is during offering time. Amen. When the offering band passed around, a tongue starts. You can almost time it. That's right. Huh? That's right. You can almost time it. That's Moment right. the offering start, bishop come up. Amen. <laughs> the Lord said he didn't have enough. The Lord ain't said nothing. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, preacher. Tell him, pastor. That's Why don't right. you lie and stop lying on God? That's right. Good teaching, brother. How the Lord going to say, that's not enough? That's not enough. Every Sunday. And he didn't say, the poor you have with you. Always. 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 Yes, sir. That's right. 
A lot of these men get in the pulpit to make a living because they're too lazy to go to work to get a job. Oh, yes. So they get in the pulpit to make a living off you and play with your soul. That's right. The worst position of the church is up here. Amen. You're going to give an account to God for everything that come out your mouth. Oh, yes. Anybody die believing one lie that you told, yeah. the blood yes. is going to be on your hands. That's right. You're going to rob the people now and drive your Cadillac and live good and eat your caviar, your old rotten fish eggs. That's right. And wash it down with your gin. Yeah. But you're going to stand before God. For all the souls you misuse, all the souls you abuse, all That's the right. souls you lie to, all the souls you trick. You can sit back and go to your side room and count the money and make it rain. Yes. Go and take God, but you're going to stand before God. That's right. That's why I'm determined to do this right. That's right. Mm -mm, I cannot be bought by nothing. No. From nobody. Amen. I've been offered millions of dollars, turned that stuff down to stay with God. That's right. Preachers have offered me their organizations and movements. I told them God made me a builder. I don't need your movement. Amen. And every time they offered it to me, it always a, a, a string is attacked. Yeah. If I would change my doctrine, I say this is not my doctrine. This is God's doctrine. That's right. You don't get me to compromise to walk with nobody. Amen. It's God's way or no way. Amen. When are you going to accept that fact? It is God's way or no way. That's and right. if you ain't will listen, when you do it God's way, God's it's going to contradict your organization. Oh, yes. Now, who are you more loyal to? Your organization or God? That's it. Because the script is going to challenge your organization. That's right. And going to challenge your loyalty. Either you on God's side or UPC. That's right. Either you on God's side or P-A-W. That's right. Either you're on God's side or Church of God in Christ. Yeah. Bible said, choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. Some of you men are scared to stand up for the word of being reprimanded by your bishop. Standing up for God is worse. That's right. Going to jail for. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Beware lest any man Beware spoil lest you any man spoil through, you. Philosophy through philosophy and vain deceit. What else? After the, tra after after the, the tradition. After the tradition of men. Of men. After the rudiments of the after world. After the rudiments of the world. And not after Christ. All right, let's look at men's tradition. Men's tradition. Five minor prophets. Mm. Five major. <laughs> five minor prophets and five major. As he spake by yeah. the mountain. Mm -hmm. That's the tradition of men. That's the tradition of men. The church started 33 A.D. Ain't nobody ever said that. No. That's the tradition of men. Of men. 400 years of darkness fell upon the earth when the last prophet Malachi died. Ain't nobody ever said that. No. That's the tradition of men. Of men. Paul died at Nero's chopping block. The way Paul died ain't never been recorded. No. That's the tradition of men. That's right. John died 96 A.D. in a pot of boiling oil. He was a bawling liar. <laughs> Amen. There ain't no Bible said that. No. What is it? That's the tradition of men. of men. You see, all of this stuff was taught for years. That's right. And what made the preacher so successful of handing down this teaching of philosophy? Yes. Was because the congregation was ignorant of the Bible. That's right. That's why I labor to teach and stay in the book. That's right. Not just to go along to get along. Amen. Are you in the church? The church. That Jesus started. That's right. You got to try the spirit. Yeah. And the apostle preached, we having the same spirit. Spirit, that's it. Of faith. <laughs> you know, when you got the same spirit of faith, that means you got to believe what Jesus believed. That's right. You got to believe what Jesus believed. That's right. If you come along and say, Pastor Jenner, we don't believe in washing feet. Really? Really? Hmm. You don't believe in washing feet? Really? Really? You don't? Really? But no, Pastor Jenner, Jesus ain't never said we got to do it. In he the, said you ought to do it. That's right. And then he told you why you should do it. In the book of St. John, chapter 13, and at what, verse what 13. What am I doing? I'm going to itemize different subjects. 
They see all you in the same church. That's right. That Jesus started. That's right. Listen at this. Now let's get feet washing. St. John chapter 13 and at verse 13. Follow me. Ye call me master and Lord. Ye call me master and Lord. And ye say, well, for well, so I am. so I am. If I then your Lord and master have washed if your I feet. I be your Lord and master and I wash your feet. Ye also ought to wash one another's feet. No, you ain't got to do it. Ye also ought to wash one another's nah, feet. You ain't, Bishop said you ain't got to do it. Ye also ought to wash one another's feet. Bishop Lucifer said you don't have to do it. Ye also ought to wash one another's feet. Why? For I have given you an example. For what reason? That ye should do as I have done to you. Ye ought to wash what? Ye ought to wash one another's feet. Not each other. That's right. One another's. I got to pick up everything. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 13, and we started at verse 13. Now wash each other's feet. One another's feet. One another. Let me show you the difference. Amen. Washing one another. I wash Williams. Williams wash that brother. That brother wash him. That brother wash him. That brother wash him. That's one another. One another. But if you wash each other, I wash Williams, and Williams turn around and wash me. That's right. Bible didn't right. say that. You also ought to wash one another's feet. One another. One another. One not another. each other. That's right. That's right. Let's see are you in the church. Mm -hmm. Let's see are you in the church that Jesus started. Let's investigate how you take communion mm -hmm. and what time of day you take it. That's right. Well, Pastor Jenner, we serve communion in, in the morning. That's not the Lord's church. No. He said the Lord's supper, not the Lord's breakfast. That's right. That's right. Do you mean to tell me, Pastor Jennings, the Bible tells me what time of day? In, yes. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. I want to see all you in the church started from the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to strike this out strike with the Bible out. here. That's right. And everybody better investigate. And I'm challenging Little Rock, Arkansas. That's I'm right. challenging not just Little Rock, but the whole, the whole state. <laughs> That's right. The whole state of Arkansas. I'm challenging everybody's religion, everybody's church, and everybody's pastor. That's right. Huh? That's right. I mean, I have to do this because I was made a preacher, you know. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God made me a preacher. Oh, yes. And I have to say like Paul, if an angel come from heaven and bring another gospel that differ from what we preach, let the angels be a curse. If there's one church, then there's one teaching to govern that one church. That's and right. And any teaching come in the church that contradict the Bible, then we're going to blast that teaching back to hell. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and that verse 23. That goes forth like I got any preachers out there that didn't come up. Amen. Oh yeah. That goes for you. That's right. And what we preach it hurts you. All right. You better not protect what you have. That's right. You either in God's church. There's two churches. Yeah. God's and the devil's. And the devil's. All right. Let's see. Do you serve the Lord's Supper? On Bible order, before we get the time of day, let's see, do we use a tray of glasses or one cup? One cup. Don't go tell me, don't, well, Pastor Jennings is germs today. There was germs back then. That's right. Follow me in your Bible, heathen. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse Come 26. Come on, Bishop. Come on, so-called elder. Come on, pastor. Wait a minute. Before we get the cup, let's get what's in the cup, because they use grape juice. That's right. They use grape juice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they, they won't use wine. They use grape juice. That's right. And I got, I, I'm going to strip it down to the letter. That's right. Let's get what's in the cup. Then let's get how many cups to use. Yes. Then we'll get the time of day That's that right. it shouldn't be done. That's right. We're going to use Bible for all of it. For all of it. All right. Follow me. Get me, Arkansas. First in the book of Psalms 75 and at verse 8. Follow me. Psalm 75 and at the 8th verse. What is it? For in the hand of the Lord, there is a cup. Please tell us what's in it. And the wine is red. Nope, the grape juice. The wine is red. Amen. Why are you serving grape juice? That's right. <laughs> Why are you serving tang, tang, lemonade? That's right. Orange juice. Orange juice. They pierce them in the side out, came blood and water, yeah. and the blood represent the wine. That's right. Don't you hear the Bible says in the book, amen, of Isaiah, who is that? That coming from Edom with a dark garment from bulls are. That's right. He that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak of the righteous, this mighty to save. Mighty to he save. said he tried, he tried the, the wine press alone. Alone. That's right. He tried the wine press alone. 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 
Book of Isaiah, quickly now. Amen. Chapter 63, if I'm correct. Isaiah chapter 63 and verse 1. verse 1. Who is, who is this that cometh who from Edom? It? That's coming from With Edom. With dyed garments died from Bozo. Garment from Bozo. This God. that is glorious in his apparel. He's doing what? Traveling in the greatness of his strength. What did he say? I that speak in I righteousness, that speak in mighty, the righteousness to mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. And what? I have tried the wine I press have alone. Tried the wine press alone. And of the and people of there the was people, none with me. There was none with For me. I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury. And what? And their blood and shall their be sprinkled. Blood shall be sprinkled. Shall be sprinkled upon my garment. He ain't come along and use grape juice. No. Why do you use it? That's right. That's right. Get a bottle of Welch's grape juice. Amen. Leave the label on the bottle. Welch's. <laughs> That's right. Bible said a cup was in the Lord's For hand. For in the hand of the Lord. This is Bible here. In Psalm 75 and verse 8. Let's see all you, the church, started by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's We're going right. to do an investigation. That's right. And make sure you're not a criminal. Amen. Trying to bring something in the church that contradict the book of law. <laughs> That's right. The Bible said let's all walk by the same rule. That's right. It didn't say walk by Pastor Jennings. Walk, walk by the same rule. That's it. All right. Let's see whether we're going to have a cup or tray of glasses. We got what's supposed to be in there. Right. All right, follow me and get there. Now in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, we'll start at verse 23. Right, it? For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto no, you. No, I received it from Pastor Jennings. I have received of the Lord. So you can't blame me with it. That's right. Get mad now. Get mad with the Lord. <laughs> That's right. Give chapter and verse again. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Are you in the church? That Jesus started. Jesus started. And we're doing an investigation on the teachings in the church. That's right. Listen. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Oh, For I have received of the Lord. I got from God. That which also I delivered unto you. Hey. That oh, 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 wait a minute. Mm -hmm. What's you preaching in your church? Did you receive it from God? From the Lord. Listen, viewers and you that are here. It doesn't matter if a preacher come and say, the Lord told me this and the Lord told me that. Just be quiet and listen. That's right. What come out of his mouth. And whatever come out of his mouth that he said the Lord says. And they contradict the Bible. The That's Lord right. of heaven didn't say it. That's right. I don't care if he jumped around on one foot and got a robe so long until it filled the temple. That's right. That's if right. he come anything that contradict the word of the Lord. Word of the Lord. The Lord ain't said that. Not no. at all. No, no. Listen. For I have received of the Lord. What? That which also I delivered unto you. What is it? That the Lord Jesus the same night. No, the same morning. That the Lord Jesus the same night. The same afternoon. The same night. What did he do the same night? In which he was betrayed, took bread. He took bread. And when he had given thanks, and he broke it. And when he gave it. thanks, he broke it. And said, take, eat. Take, this is eat. my body. This is my body. Which is broken for you. What else did he do with? This do in remembrance of me. Yeah. After the same Manner also we took the cup. What time of day was it? Same night. What time of day was it? That the Lord Jesus the same night. All right, you Sunday morning communion takers. That's right. That's right. You Sunday morning communion takers. Amen. You mean to tell me you are preacher leading people? Amen. Now you don't know the time of day that Jesus was betrayed? That the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took Someone say, well, that's not important. The Bible said whatsoever things are written for time is written for our learning. Our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have what? Hope. Don't let no liar come to you That's and right. say, well, if that, that time is not important. If, if it's in here, <laughs> have you ever took your car to a mechanic? Amen. And then when you get your car back, he give you a Ziploc bag with a bunch of screws. And then he tell you, you didn't need these. How you going to listen? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. If those screws came with my car, those screws going to leave on my car. That's right. I'm saying that to say this. When these men come along and tell you that we don't got to do that, and yet it's in here. It's in here. Come on back. That's right. Don't you know if you don't take the Lord's Supper right, you can die? You can die. Do you know some sicknesses people have is because they took the Lord's Supper wrong? That's right. I'm going to give you a Bible for that too. 1 Corinthians 11, still at verse 23. Listen. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. And what? That the Lord Jesus the same, same night, night in which he was betrayed took bread. What did he do? And when he had given thanks, he break it and he said. He break it. And said, take, eat, this is my body. This is my body. Which is broken for you. Wait a minute. He broke the bread? 
This is my body which is broken for you. All right, if the preacher said the Lord's Supper and don't break the bread. That's right. You still ain't doing it right. That's right. Look here. You got to have it at night. Have it at night. And you got to take the bread after you bless it. You got to break it. Break it. And if you don't break it and give it whole, you're not acknowledging the suffering of Jesus. That's right. That's right. You got to follow it to the letter. That's right. Or shut the church down. After the same manner also, we took the cup. He took the tray of glasses. He took the cup. <laughs> Amen. No one say, well, Pastor Jennings, I take one bottle of wine and pour it in all the cups. That's the same thing. You lie. The That's purpose of them having one cup, the cup, rep listen, you have wine and bread. That's right. Cup and bread represent two different stages of his one body. That's right. The bread represents the suffering of the body. That's why the bread was broken. Broken. The wine represents the death of his body because he didn't shed blood till after, after he died. That's right. A cup is a container. His body was a container. They pissed him in the side. Out came blood and water. And water. Amen. There wasn't a bunch of bodies died for you. No. One. That's right. That's right. One death. That's right. One death. One cup. Amen. Amen. So you take your tray of glasses and give it back to the bar you own. <laughs> All them shot liquor glasses. <laughs> That's Come right. on back to Bible. That's Just right. Do it right do it and right. stop playing church. Amen. After, after the Bible said, after this, after the same manner also we took he the took cup, the cup when he had supped, when he had supped, saying this cup. This. Amen. Hey preacher, preacher, tell me, hmm. when you pray over the cup or the tray of glasses, is that the communion of the Lord? In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and I'm verse 21. I'm going to ask you the same question the Apostle Paul asks. That's right. This, this question, folks don't even know it's in the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, we're at verse 16. You preachers that got a tray of glasses, you praying over it. I'm asking you a question now. That's right. Is it the communion of the Lord? The cup of blessing. Give chapter and verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 16. The what? The cup of blessing. Spell cup. C-U-P. No, the C-U-P-S. No, Pastor, C-U-P. C-U-P-S. C-U-P. What is the question about the C-U-P? The cup of blessing which we bless. Which we pray over. Is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? Now you tell me. Amen. Is the cup which we bless the communion of the blood of Christ? Mm -hmm. Or is it the tray of glasses that you bless? <laughs> That's right. Are you in the church? Go ahead, brother. Started by the Lord Jesus Christ. The cup of blessing which we bless. The cup of blessings that we pray over. Is it, is it not the communion, not the of, communion the blood of, Christ? of the Lord? Or is it the tray of glasses that you bless? That's tell right. me. That's right. That's right. Are you in the church? Amen. That Jesus started. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 21. Listen. Ye cannot drink the cup. Ye cannot drink the cup. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. And the cup of devils. <laughs> Amen. Which one is yours? That's it. Can't have the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partaken. The tray of glasses right. is the cup of devils. Of devils. That's right. All of you that serve glasses, you got the cup of devils. Of devils. Devils. That's right. Devils. That's right. Devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord. Oh, glory to God. The Bible's so plain. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Stop this church playing and this religious faking and come back to the Bible. Amen. Jesus is coming here. Yes, he is. That's right. Jesus is coming. coming. That's right. And the lying bishop been saying for years, he coming looking for a church. That's a lie. That's a lie. When you look for something, you lost it. <laughs> That's right. He ain't never said he coming looking for nothing. No. He said he going to present to himself a glorious church. Yes. And then told you how it got to be, not having a spot. spot. You got a tray of glasses, you got a whole lot of spots. That's right. You serve the Lord's Supper in the morning, and not at night, that's another spot. That's right. You got anything in that glass other than wine, another spot. Amen. Amen. Are you in the church? That's right. Start it. From the Lord from Jesus the Lord. Christ. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's deal with the preaching that it was seven deacons ordained mm. in the book of Acts of the, the Apostles. Of Acts. In Acts chapter 6, we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. Get me. Hear me. Acts chapter 6, we'll start at the very first verse. Oh, we're working on the Apostles' doctrine. That's what this is. Let's see. Are you in the church? Amen. 
from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. There's That's a lot right. of history in the churches, yeah. but not the doctrine of God. That's right. Come on. Acts chapter 6, we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. And in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, yes. there rose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews and because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then what? Then the twelve called the multitude of the they disciples them unto them. the followers under them. And said, it is not reason that, that we should we leave should the word leave of God, God and, serve, and tables. serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out, among, out you among you seven men of honest report. No, seven deacons. Look ye out among you seven men of honest report. And this is what the apostolic and Pentecost and many others have taught for years right. that it was seven deacons in the church and the church got to have seven deacons. We first going to see are these fellows was even deacons. That's right. Are you in the church? That's right. That Jesus started. That's right. The only way you know you in there, your teaching got to be lined up. Yeah. It ain't going to be like you do a, take a driving test. You hit a cone and Jesus going to say, are oh, you all right? No, he ain't. Oh, no. You got to hit scripture. <laughs> That's it. And park that scripture. That's right. And back up that scripture. That's right. And when you get out, you got to get out in scripture. That's right. That's right. Eh? Wherefore, brethren. Wherefore, glory to God, brethren. Look ye out among you seven men seven of men. honest report. I want it to be good in case I got any deacons here. Mm -hmm. See how you were ordained, deek. Deek. <laughs> Amen. See how you were ordained, deek. That's right. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report. Of what? Full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. Who did they get? But we, will give, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Yes. And the saying pleased the whole multitude. Who did they get, son? And, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost. I want you to take note of that. Ghost. Take note of Stephen. Some call Stephen. Stephen. All right. And Philip. Philip, I want you to take note of that. Philip. Uh -huh. and, and Prochorus. Be quick. And Nicanor and Timon and Parmenius. Yes. And Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. All right. Whom they set before the apostles. They brought him before the apostles. And when they had prayed, when the apostles prayed they laid their laid hands, hands on, on them. them. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples and and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. Yeah, the word of God increased. That let you know that the men they did some preaching. Now, that's right. They said that's where the seven deacons was chosen. Right. But have you noticed? The word deacon not even there. No, it's not. Now, I'm declaring to the world that they weren't deacons. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. I'm telling you straight up, they straight up. wasn't. Straight All up. All right. I want you to take note of one of the seven named Philip. Philip. Let's see what the Bible says Philip was. Acts chapter 21, and we're at verse 8. Follow me. Follow Acts. me. I want to say to all deacons that are watching, whatever church organization you got ordained in, and yet the bishop ordained you based upon the book of Acts, he didn't know what he was doing. No, he didn't. No. Are you in the church? <laughs> That's it. Start it from the Lord Jesus Christ. It got to be set up with Bible, That's set right. up with Bible, set up with Bible. Set up with Bible. That's right. Even your ordination got to be like the Bible. Like the Bible. All right. Acts chapter 21 and we're at verse 8. Follow me. And the next day we that were of Paul's company departed and came unto Caesarea. And what? And we entered into the house of Philip. We entered into Philip's house. The evangelist. Wait a minute. Philip was what? Philip the evangelist. And who was he was? Which was one of the seven and abode with him. Amen. Amen. Philip was one of the seven deacons. And we entered into the house of Philip the Evangelist. No, Philip the Deke. Philip the Evangelist. Philip the Deke. Philip the Evangelist. You better not tell me he wasn't an evangelist deacon either. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It been in your Bible. I didn't put it there. Amen. Acts 21 and verse 8. Acts 21 and 8 says. And we entered into the house of Philip the Evangelist. Who was it? Which was one of the seven. And abode with him. So they wasn't being ordained deacons. No. Oh, no. Are oh, you in the church? The church. That Jesus, hallelujah, started. That's right. He said, upon this rock, I will I build, build my church. My church. My church. And the gates of hell shall not Perfect. defeat it. That's right. When he said it won't prevail against it, he didn't say he won't fight it. No. He said it won't prevail, won't prevail meaning it. it won't defeat it. That's right. All right. That's right. Let's look at women preachers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Are you in the church? Amen. That Jesus started. That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's Let's right. look at women preachers. First, can a woman be a bishop? 
Mm. Give me the book of Timothy. Timothy. Follow me. Amen. All of you that got women bishops, and if there's any man got ordained by a woman, you're not a preacher. That's right. You're not a preacher. Your ordination is just as good as Monopoly money. <laughs> That's right. You know it's no good. I then, said your ordination is just as good as Monopoly money. That's right. The Apostle Paul told Timothy, lay hands suddenly on no man. No man. You don't find a woman ordaining nobody in the Bible. No. Do it the way it's written. That's right. No one said, well, the Bible ain't never told what, what men should ordain when they go out. I'm going to show you that in the first chapter of Titus. Of Titus. Give me Timothy first. Mm -hmm. Let's get the bishopric, and then let's see who is ordained, first. male or female. That's right. I'm not a male chauvinist. <laughs> I'm a preacher. Amen. That goes for if I got any young men out there that got the pulpit itch. Yes. And your wife want to be married to a preacher. She tell you, honey, you, you got the call. The only calling you got is the calling your wife giving you. That's right. Go ahead, brother. How in the world your calling going to contradict this Bible? Amen. If you don't believe the Bible, sit down. Amen. You got to be prepared to do this thing right. If you got to die to do it, lose your wife, lose your children, lose your home. That's right. You ain't ready to make those sacrifices. Get out the pulpit. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Get me. First Timothy chapter three. We'll start at verse one. The Holy Ghost said this is a true saying that lets you know any other saying opposite from this is a lie. That's right. Huh? This is a true saying. Any other saying that contradict this is a lie. That's right. What is it, son? If a man desire the office of a bishop, what he got to be? He desireth a good work. If a man read on, son. A bishop then must be blameless. Yes. The husband of one wife. Oh no, the wife of one husband. The husband of one wife. How in the world some female bishop running a revival? That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, I felt the spirit. You felt the devil. That was the devil. How in the world are you going to feel the spirit of God from an act that That's contradict right. God? That's right. Think of it. That's right. How are you going to feel the spirit of God from a deed mm. that contradicts God? Amen. You show me one woman bishop in the Bible, and the Bible says she was. This is a true saying. If what? If a man desire the office of a bishop. What does he do? He desireth a good work. Come on, come on, preacher. Come on, preachers. Amen. Come on, preachers. Come on, preachers. Amen. I got, if I got any woman preachers here, you may as well take your credentials, tear it up. Tear them up. Like so many thousands of women are doing now. That's right. Women all around the world hearing this message coming out of poor pits, smelling me their credentials or making bonfires out of them. <laughs> That's right. It ain't none of you a woman preacher. Amen. Any of you here that claim you're a woman preacher, I don't care if it's your wife, your mama. Your mama. Huh? That's right. Your mama. Your mama. <laughs> what you say, Pastor Jenny? Your mama. That's right. Wait, wait, wait. What you say, Pastor Jenny? Your mama. Your mama. Wonderful, brother. Bible said the head of every woman is the man. Is the man. The man. So how are you the head at home and you the tail at church? That's right. How are you the head at home? That's right. And you the tail at church. At church. Amen. This is a true saying. This. This is a true saying. Right here. It's a true saying. It's the truth. If a man desire the office of a bishop. Man desire the office of a bishop. He desireth a good he work. He desire the office of a good work. A bishop then must be blameless. What else he got to be? The husband of one wife. No, the wife of one husband. The husband of one wife. Your bishop reversed it. That's right. That's right. First chapter, Titus. Let's see, do women got to be sent out or men? Titus chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. All right. Paul, a servant Paul, of God, servant of and, God an and an apostle, apostle of, Jesus, of Christ, Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, that right. and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness. Wait a minute. If you acknowledge the truth, what is that after? After godliness. What is it? In hope of eternal life, With which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. What is he doing, son? But, but hath in due times manif manifest, manifest his, his word, word through preaching. Through what? Through preaching. That's how God, glory to God, is getting his word over. Through He's preaching. getting it through preaching. Which is Jesus died and came on back the third day and opened up the understanding of the yeah. apostles and everybody that come after the apostles. If God don't open up your understanding like he did theirs, you're going to run after the religion of men. That's right. That's right. I came out the so-called apostolic church. Yeah. Full of the teachings of men. Yes. 
until, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, until God start opening up my understanding. That's right. So I opened up my understanding when I was 12 and 13 and 14. And when God started opening up my understanding, I was at the bishop's office door. He said, come in. I went to the Bible. Hey, Bishop, you said such and such and such a thing. Right. Such and such and such a thing. He get up and preach something else not in the Bible. Hey, I knocked on his door so much. He said, that's your problem. Mm -hmm. You always want Bible for something. He told me these words. He said, you would never find a church that believe all the Bible. All the if that's the case, everybody's lost. That's right. If you're not going to believe the Bible, what saves you then? Yeah. How in the world are you going to claim you saved and you don't believe the Bible? I don't believe the Bible. <laughs> Amen. How are you even having church Amen. and you don't believe the Bible? That's right. You don't believe it? Don't believe I mean, it. if these bitches, they wives run the church. Yeah. That's why some things he won't preach. Oh, yes. Yeah. She tell him, you ain't going to preach that. Yeah. What was in the Bible? I don't care. <laughs> I ain't right. doing it. That's right. Well, uh, let's pray about it. Pray about what? <laughs> Amen. Whatsoever things are written for time and written for our learning. Our learning. You see, when you truly a preacher, you won't have no respect to person. No. You won't have no favoritism. No, no. If your wife don't want to go with what God said, then your wife going to die and go to hell. That's right. Don't want to say, Pastor Jenner, I bet you won't say that to your wife. You don't know Pastor Jenner. No. <laughs> you see, under my roof, my wife's legs don't dictate my preaching. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. The bed don't influence the pulpit here. That's right. The bed don't manipulate this message. That's right. I was made by heaven, not by my wife. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was preaching before I met my wife. That's right. And I told her, you don't want to walk with the word of God, then you are die and go to hell like anybody else. That's right. So who do you think your wife is to me? Amen. But flesh. flesh. And if she don't obey God, yeah. that flesh you roll around with, going to burn in hell. Go ahead. Preach it, man. Preach it. You act like you ain't got no wife. Give the book of Corinthians. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 29. Says what? But this I say, brother. This I say, brother. The time is short. The time is short. It remaineth. It remains. That both they that, that both have wives. that have wives. Be as though they had none. Be like you don't have none. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, you preach like you don't have none. Hallelujah. No favoritism. That's right. If she don't like it, that's her problem. That's, that's right. If she don't ever want to sleep with you again, if ice spill up on your mustache, yeah. you preach God's word preach or word. you going to hell. That's right. Amen. Anytime sex ahead, dictate man. the pulpit, Go ahead. you are unfit, unfit to be a preacher. That's right. But this I say, brother, hallelujah, hallelujah. the time is short. Yes, I said. The time is short. You mean to tell me sex? Go ahead, brother. Dictate the pulpit? Go ahead. Man. That's what you have in practice all these churches. That's right. A bunch of pulpit henpecks. <laughs> Amen. Scared to stand up for God, a bunch of late. They done made so much money and living so good, they become a puppet for their wife. That's right. He started preaching something. Wife, just look at him. For you know, he said, well, I'm going to bring it home now. Oh. Well, you going home. That's right. Right to hell. That's right. All right, listen to the old man. But this I say, brethren, the time this is I short. This I say, brethren, the time is short. It remains that remains. those they that have wives. Those that got wives. Be as though they had none. You got to stand for this like you're not even married at all. That's right. That's right. You got to preach it. And not be concerned yeah. about home repercussions. Amen. 
Huh? Amen. Right. Hallelujah. You got to preach it and not even be concerned about home repercussions. That's right. Imagine my wife may leave me. The Bible says what? But this I say, brethren, the time is short. She may take the children, but the Bible says what? It remaineth that both they that have wives. She may never sleep with me again, but the Bible says what? It remaineth that both they that have wives. What the Holy Ghost commanded. Be as though they had none. You can't do that. Get out the pulpit. Get out the pulpit. Listen. Amen. This is part of the ordination package. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. They didn't get that part. They didn't get, they didn't that, get memo. that part. No. Huh? This is part of the ordination package. It remaineth that both they that have, wives, have wives be as though they had none. You got to say hallelujah. Mm. You got to stand like you ain't got a wife at all. At all. That's right. That's right. All right. Let's finish up the woman preachers. Back First Timothy. First Timothy two twelve. Amen. And then Isaiah chapter 9, verse 16 and 17. Mm -hmm. Then Ecclesiastes 7, 28. First Timothy. Then Isaiah 3, 12. <laughs> That's right. Then 1 Timothy 2, 9. That's right. And then I want the, uh, the book of Revelation. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Mm. Come on, son. So, sorry, Pastor. All right, come so, on. Stop whistling uh, Dixie I'm now. Sorry, whistling. <laughs> Lord of God. Trying... It's so good it got him whistling about it. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and that verse 12. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Google, let's have it. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. Yeah. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Wait a minute. The Holy Ghost commanded what? But I suffer not a woman to teach. No, she up teaching the men in Sunday school. I suffer not a woman to teach. She's teaching the men in Sunday school. I suffer not a woman to teach. And then the bishop say, ain't nothing wrong with it. Who you going to take, bishop or the Bible? That's right. Who are you going to take, bishop or the Bible? I suffer not a woman to teach. But what? Nor to usurp authority over the man. How should she learn? But to be in silence. All right, now hold it right there. Now give me the book of Titus mm -hmm. that permits the woman to teach. That's right. And then it permits her what to teach. What to teach. And then it permits her who to teach. In Titus chapter 2, we'll start at verse 3. And you better not go past this right here. That's right. Here's That's one right. scripture that says the woman can't teach. Cannot teach. And it lets you know how. That lets you know she can't use up authority over the man. Over the man. But now I got to show you what woman can teach, mm -hmm. what she can teach, mm -hmm. and who she can teach. Titus chapter 2. That's what I mean by balancing out the scriptures. That's right. All right, get me. Titus chapter 2. We'll start at verse 3. Says what? The age women likewise. That wait they a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. John, turn Williams up. Turn Williams up for me. Amen. Amen. Make them louder. You can make my big mouth louder, too. Amen. All right. What did he say? We'll start at Titus chapter two and verse one. All right. But speak thou the things which become sound. doctrine. No, preach weak stuff. Sound. But speak thou the things which become sound. No, doctrine. speak thou the things that the people want to hear. Speak thou the things which become sound. Speak the doctrine. thing that tickle the people ears so they can give all their money to Reverend Hypocrite. Speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. You're not getting stuff that's sound today. The preachers that kind of, the church is a Christian comedy club. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, they got all that in church now. Christian comedians and all of that folly. Amen. Yeah, praise dancers. They take the pulpit and let it turn to the Apollo Theater for a night. And then a bunch of little girls and little boys come little up girls. while someone play music through the speakers. And they get up there to my praise dances. That's nothing but dancing of the devil. That's right. Anytime you dance in the spirit, the spirit or dance for God, the spirit of God come on you. Right. Like it did the prophets. That's right. Praise dancers. Everybody dress alike and get up there like they're the four, to four tops or the temptations or Gladys Knight in the pips. <laughs> That's right. Praise dance. That's not praise dancing. That's of the world. That's of the world. Come on back to the Bible now. Get but, this. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. Speak thou the things which become tough preaching. That the aged men be sober. That's what that is. That's right. Speak thou the things which become tough preaching. That the old men be, be what? Be sober. Uh, sober. Mm -hmm. Grave. Grave. Temperate. Self-control. Sound in faith. What? Sound in faith. When you're sound in the faith, you don't allow that garbage in the church. That's right. You're sound in the faith. That's right. Hey, sound you're in sound faith. in the faith, preacher. That's right. Uh -huh. Sound in faith. Yes. In charity. And love. In patience. Patience. The aged women likewise. Now you got the mothers in the church. The aged women are the mothers of the church. That they be in behavior. The Bible didn't call them missionaries. No. Your aged church women. organization called you that. That's right. That's right. Junior missionary. Ain't no such thing as a junior missionary. <laughs> Ain't no such thing as a senior missionary. That's what your church got. Amen. The Bible, let's see what, hold that. Give me the book of Timothy. Let's see what the Bible says we should call young women. And then see what the Bible says we should call the older women. Yes. And neither one are missionary. First Timothy. There ain't no senior missionary and junior. I want that to be good in case I got any senior and juniors here. <laughs> That's right. 
That's you right. thought you was a missionary, didn't you? I'm going to give you a mission. Write a Bible. First Timothy chapter 5 and we're at verse 2. That goes for your wife too, preacher. She ain't no missionary. Amen. If she's young, I'm going to tell you what she is. If she's old, I'm going to tell you what the Bible says she is. First Timothy chapter 5, we're at verse 2. Are you in the church? Mm. Started by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's your right. teaching got to be the same. Your belief got to be the same. Your function got to be the same. Your doctrine got to be the same. That's right. In order to be the church. The church. Listen. First Timothy chapter 5, we're at verse 2. That's what? The elder women. The elder women. As mothers. Are senior missionaries. The elder women as mothers. You better clean your glasses and read it right. The elder women as mothers. The elder women as mothers. Leave it to Gino Jenny. You can't do nothing. Don't blame me. Give no. chapter and verse. First Timothy chapter 5. First, verse, first, first, who? First Timothy. My name ain't Tim. <laughs> they always try to blame me as if I wrote the Bible. That's right. What am I doing? I'm fighting religious tradition. That's it. We want to get away from tradition and come back to Bible. That's right. He's going to present to himself a glorious church not having a spot. And when you got the tradition of men, you got spots. spots. You got wrinkles. You got such things. Right. And you can't be holy with tradition of men. That's right. Listen. 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verse 2. That's what? The elder women as mothers. Old women. Call them what? Mothers. And what about the young ones? The younger as sisters. Bishop don't call them that. He call them a honey pie. That's right. Sweetie. Sweetie. Sugar dial. Yep. Baby girl. That's why Bishop every time he see... Something that's built the way he like it in church. He'll shake her hand and rub her arm and tell her, oh, God bless you, you know. The, oh, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, he practically all bent over and looking at her. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh. <laughs> Bishop filled me all over. Me all over. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Amen. 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 The elder women is mothers. He embraced the sisters that can't let her go. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to embrace no southern keep rocking back and forth. That's right. Like you want a school bus hitting bumps. That's right. Just holding a rocking back and forth. And she just sit there. She he sit pat there. her. He, she pat him. They just back and forth. That's right. What did the Bible call them? The elder women is mothers. The younger is sisters with. Wait a minute. You call the young sisters with what? With all purity. That means when you call her sister, you can't be nothing behind your statement. That's right. You can't be saying, well, hi, sister. That's right. Huh? Winking that eye. Praise the Lord, sister. You bunch of heathens. That's right. Heathens, I said. Heathens. The younger is sister. You see why they hate Pastor Jenny? Oh, yeah. My job as a preacher wasn't written. When you're not getting paid, you're a free preacher. That's right. When the church is counting you checks and the board of directors getting you checks, you're like, well, you know, folks, I don't want to hurt no one feeling, feel but he, we got to get right with Jesus. <laughs> that's what they're saying. That's, 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 that's right. Preacher. That's right. And that's the way folks, they're used to this type of preaching. That's right. Stop your wrong. You got to get right with Jesus. That's, that's the right. type of preaching you're used to. Amen. We come along with the word of God. What the Bible said? They don't like that. Beat them down, Pastor. Huh? Beat, beat them down. The members, the members, even the men run out. Oh, we can't tell. <laughs> Am I right, I said? Glory right. 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 to God. Amen. What did the Holy Ghost say here? The elder women is mothers. Call the elder women mothers, not they bishop. Mothers. Not the assistant pastor. Mothers. Not the first lady. Mothers. Not junior bishop. Mothers. I want to, if I got any junior preachers here, that's, 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 that's monopoly office. That's right. You don't have a junior bishop in the Bible. You don't have a junior deacon. You don't have a junior pastor. You don't have a junior elder. Where do this garbage come from? That's right. A man ordained you junior bishop. You're not even a junior devil. You just of the devil. Of the devil. <laughs> that's right. Come back to Bible. Amen. Stop creating stuff that's not in here. Yeah. Let's see what God put in the church. Ephesians 4, 11. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11. And they give me 1 Corinthians 12, 28. Right. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11. Let's see what God put in the church. And he gave some apostles. No, all of them. Some. 
When you're an apostle, hallelujah. Some. You're God called, God sent, God made, God anointed, God taught, and you better not tell me there's no more apostles now. That's I'll right. I'll make you lick that lie up. That's right. If it ain't no apostles now, it ain't no church. No church. You out there that say there are no apostles now, he put that first in there. That's right. You better give me first. First Corinthians, 12, Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 28. Then we go back to Ephesians. And God. God. God has set some in the church. What? First apostles. If the apostles not first in there, then tell me what replaced it. That's right. You better not tell me the bishop replaced it. I'll make you find it. Amen. You better not tell me the bishop is first in the church. No. Oh, no. I'll make you find it. God has set some in the church. What? First apostles. The apostle covers the bishopric. That's right. Because Peter said, I also am an elder. I'm an elder. Eh? Secondarily prophets. Secondarily prophets. Thirdly teachers. Thirdly teachers. After that miracle. After that miracle. Then gifts of healing. Gifts of healing. Helps. Helps. Governments. Governments. Diversity, Diversity of, of tongues. Are all apostles? No. Are all prophets? No. Are all teachers? No. Are all workers of miracles? No. Have all the gifts of healing? No. Do all speak with tongues? Yes, I know. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Do all speak in tongues? Do all yes, speak I know. With tongues. Someone say, how is it yes and no? Give me the book of Mark. Mark chapter 16. We'll start at verse 16. Let's get the yes. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that what? He that believeth. Oh, he that believe. And is baptized. And is baptized. Shall be saved. Shall be saved. But he that believeth he not. That don't believe. Shall be damned. What's going to happen? And these signs shall follow them that believe. These signs going to follow who? Them that believe. What the will believers do? In my name shall they cast out devils. What else? They shall speak with new tongues. Who going to do it? These signs shall follow them that believe. That's why I say yes. Yes. And I say, no, if you don't believe in speaking in tongues, you won't speak. That's right. You a preacher? Hey, 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 preacher, deep, elder, pastor. You say you're a preacher and got the Holy Ghost and you never spoke in tongues? Never spoken in tongues. You ain't no preacher. No. They you're not a preacher. That's right. How in the world you got the Holy Ghost in another way that's opposite from the day of Pentecost? Yep, that's right. When the day of Pentecost was fully it's coming, fully all was with one accord in one place, then suddenly sound came from heaven as a rush of mighty wind and filled all the house where they were sitting. And they had pillars of them clothed in tongues like fire, and it got on each of them. And they and were they all was filled. All filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues. How did they know it? And began to speak with other tongues. As what? As the Spirit. As what? As the Spirit. As what? As the Spirit. Who do it? As the Spirit. Spirit gave them utterance. You ain't spoken tongue. Amen. You ain't got the Holy Ghost. Now, notice it says, as the Spirit give utterance. That's right. So then, if the Spirit do it, how can your bishop come up and say, when I count to three, the Holy Ghost going to move. Gonna move. And you're going to speak. One, two, three. And you jump up. How many, how many, how many, how many, how many, like you're in the auction. That's the devil. That's the devil. The Holy Ghost is the God Spirit. That's right. And it's not turned on like a microwave and turned off. That's right. You got the Holy Ghost. You ain't spoken tongue. Hmm. You ain't got the Holy Ghost. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? And began to speak with other How tongues. How did they know it? And began to speak with other How tongues. How did they know it? And began to speak with other tongues. Who gave it? As the Spirit. Gave the mutterance. As Bishop said it. As the Spirit gave the mutterance. As Bishop turned it on. As the Spirit gave the mutterance. Any of you out there, pastors, elders, deacons, you got the Holy Ghost? You ain't spoken tongue? Again, monopoly money. That's right. That's right. You're not a pastor. You're not a preacher. You're not a bishop. You're not an elder. Not an elder. You're not even in the church. No. Someone said what? 12th chapter, 1 Corinthians First says. Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 12, and we're at verse 12. Begin at verse 12, says what? For as the body is one. As the church is one. And as many members. And got many members. And all the members of that all one the body. members of that one being church. Being many are one body. What is so it? also is Christ. Uh -huh. For by one spirit. By one Holy Ghost. Are we all are baptized. Are we all placed. Into one body. Into one church. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles. Hallelujah. Glory to by God. one spirit. One by Holy one Ghost. By one spirit. Put you in God's church. That's right. And you got to get in the same, everybody got to get in the same way. Same way. Brandon can't get in one way, the best brother get in another way. That No, 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 everybody got to get in God's church the, the same, same, way. same way. This is the church that you can't join, you can't raise your hand and bow your head That's right. and accept Christ as your personal Savior. That's right. Jesus got to put you in the church. That's it. Jesus got to put you in the church. Amen. And if you never spoke in tongue and you never was baptized after you repented in water in the name of Jesus Christ, you never was in the church. That's right. Bow your head 
Raise your hands. You're not in the church. That's right. Pray a sinner's prayer. Not in the church. Not in the church. Sign your name on the roll book. You're not in the church. Not in the church. Baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And not the name of Jesus the Christ. Of Jesus You're not in the church. That's right. Wonderful, brother. You're not saved. Not saved. You're still a sinner. That's right. You can look at Billy Graham all day <laughs> and his old messages from the 60s. Amen. You can touch anybody's television. The only thing you're going to get is a warm hand or shocked. That's right. That's right. You can look at T.D. Jakes. You can look at that garbage all you want. All you want. You don't do it like Jesus said. Like Jesus you ain't preached. never been saved. That's right. That's right. Are you in the church? Are you in the church? That Jesus started. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey, man, come on, read quick, son. For, for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Into one body. All right. Amen. All right, let's go back to 1 Timothy 2, 12. Yes. Finish up women preachers. Right. And then we'll get being born again of water. That's right. Listen. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. Got a critter up here. False, like a little false black. He's creeping around up here. Amen. <laughs> he went on a journey. <laughs> All right. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. Listen. But I suffer not a woman to teach. No, you I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to use of authority over the man. But to be in silence. And the book of Titus. Let's finish out Titus now to see who can teach and what she's allowed to teach. All back, right. in, back in Titus chapter 2 at verse 3. Finish that out. The aged women likewise. That the they mothers be, in the church likewise. That, that they, they be in behavior, behavior as becometh holiness. As becoming holiness. Holy and sanctification here. That's right. Uh -huh. Not false accusers. Yes. Not given to much wine. Yes. Teachers of good things. All right. Let's see who, what she's supposed to teach and who she's supposed to teach. That they may teach the young women. No, teach the young men in the church. That they may teach the young women. Teach the elders in the church. That they may teach the young women. Be the overseer of the elders. Elders board. That they may teach the young women. No, she oversee the deacon board. That they may teach the young women to be sober. Be sober minded. To love their husband. Love their husband. To love their children. Love their children. To be discreet. Teach them how to be clean. Chase. Chase. Keep us at, Keep home. Us at home. Good. Good. Obedient to Obedient their, their own husbands. Their own husband. That the word of God be not blasphemed. The Bible plainly itemized what the mothers should be teaching the young sisters. The young women, that's right. Not, and all this dealing with the natural things of life. Right. It's not dealing with the God head. It's not dealing with the spirit of God. It's not dealing with water baptism. It's not explaining what the prophet said. That's right. That's right. It's dealing with the natural things of life. That they may teach the young women. And the women. mothers are not allowed to go beyond what's written for them to do. That's right. For the Bible said they shall proceed no further. No further. And Jesus said exact. No more. No more. No more. Than what's appointed. That which is appointed. All right. Are you in the church? That's right. That Jesus started. Let's see how you're baptized. Now in the book of St. John, chapter 3, we'll start No, in Matthew 28, 19 first. Okay. Let's get the Great Commission, but practically the whole world I'm blundered over. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. And then let's get Acts 2, 38. Amen. Listen. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Get moving. That's get go. going. Go. Go with it. Get going. That's why I'm here in Little Rock. Go ahead. Arkansas. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Go with it. God. That's right. Amen. And That's then right. next week, God willing, we'll be in Phoenix, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I get home. Then after that, I'll be, I believe, I think I'll be in Charleston. Yeah. After that, I'm in Lafayette. After that, closing year. After that, we get ready to go to Europe. We got to get ready to go uh, over there in Africa for a while. I'll be out the country for about a month on a yeah. European tour up to about five or six or seven different countries. Yes. Then we got to get ready to go to different countries in Africa. Then we got to tour in the South Pacific over there near Japan, hanging and banging with gospel and not getting paid not getting for paid. none of it. That's right. Think of it, not getting paid. Not getting paid, Pastor. For none of it. That's right. That's right. If I didn't love the soul of people, you think I'd be here in Little Rock? Little Rock. Arkansas? <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Come on, son. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. Yes, we are looking to open up a church here. This is what we do everywhere. That's what we do. That's what we look to do everywhere. Amen. Everywhere we go, we open up temples. God just make a way. Yes, he does. Amen. And what I normally do is get a place and rent it and start gathering the people together. 
Some folks say, well, Pastor Jenner, I don't want to leave a big church that we have and then go in a little place where we can rent. Listen, you, not one stone of that big building going to stand. No. God going to take that stained glass with that image on there that you think is Jesus is probably John Lennon from the Beatles and going to burn that stuff to tr right down the trash. That's right. I don't care nothing about your big building, your stained glass. Right. Not one stone going to stand. That's right. That big, beautiful campus that God gave us over 200,000 square feet. I ain't worrying about that thing. No. Amen. God going to come burn it all up. Amen. Along when he moved heaven and earth away, he going to burn it all up. That's right. We don't praise that, that stuff. Our praise go to God, maker of heaven and earth. Amen. All right, Matthew 28, 19. I want everybody to follow this. Matthew 28 and verse 19. I want you to check up and see are you in God's church. That's see it. are you even baptized right. That's right. All right. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Get moving. Amen. And do what to them? Teach all nations. Teach. No, have a prayer line. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. Teach. No, have a prayer line. Blow go, on them so they can fall on the floor. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. You need teaching. 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 That's what you folks need, teaching. They're not getting teaching today. Oh, they got That's the music, right. got the shouting, got the huckabucking, choir swaying back and forth and doing steps while they singing like they, amen, in the club, psychedelic lights in the church yeah. and all that Garbage that's going on, half naked women and homosexual men that's lit right. shining like they've been sprayed with armor all. <laughs> that's right. Women and men got and then, dye all in their hair. Preachers about 80 with silver eyebrows and midnight black hair. That's right. You know they ain't your hair, you old hypocrite. Amen. Get Amen. Me. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Mm -hmm. They got they put dye in their hair, put dye in their mustache, put dye in their beard. For what? For what? The Bible says honor the hoary hair. That's right. You scared of the fact that you're getting gray? <laughs> Who you trying to impress? Amen. Who you trying to impress, heathen? <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Old mothers in the church. Old mothers. Dye her hair black and she's 89. And you can see the silver roots right down there. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Still showing. God take your hair right back the way he originally had it. Yeah. Be the way God made you. That's right. And stop letting the Hollywood influence you to be a fool. Yeah. Bishop got all so much dye in his mustache, he like Groucho Marx. Amen. Hmm? Amen. 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 Sometime he get up there, supposed to be preaching and sweating, die, change the collar of his shirt. <laughs> die, start dripping. Huh? That's right. Supposed to be in the anointing, die, just dripping. Be die the way dripping. God made you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you listening? <laughs> That's right. Bible says, honor the hoary head. God give you gray hair, be thankful. Be thankful for it. That's right. Who are you trying to look good for? <laughs> if you look good for your wife, that's enough. But if it take die to do it, what's going to happen if you get sick? Yeah. And can't die it? Oh, What's yes. going to happen, sister? You get sick and can't, and can't wear all that clown stuff on your face. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. That rouge don't make you beautiful. It don't. No. If your husband told you it do, he's a liar. <laughs> Amen. Let's see how you in the church. Hold where you are and give me Jeremiah, Jeremiah. chapter 4 mm -hmm. and verse 30. <laughs> That's right. And then give me first epistle of John. That's right. And second chapter. Before you get that, give me Leviticus 10 10. 10, 10. I want to see all you in the church from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. In Jeremiah chapter 4 and at verse 30. Yeah, before we get the other subject, let's expand on this right here. Yeah. In Jeremiah, I want to get jewelry. I want to get yes. makeup. I want to get how folks supposed to look in the church. That's right. Preach it. See all you in the church. <laughs> by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Well, I'm baptizing out the Holy Ghost. That's nice. That, that, that's nice. We're going to get back to baptism, but yes. let's see how they're supposed to look. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. In the church. In the church. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 4, we'll add verse 30. Then give me Genesis. I want the strange gods. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then me give me Isaiah. I want the jewelry. Yes. And then me give me the book of Timothy. I want the pearls. Yes. And then me give me the book of Peter. I want the costly array. Yes. Yes. Jeremiah chapter 4, that's verse 30. <laughs> Come on, Google. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 30. Glory to God. 
All right. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? I also want to get head covering because the preachers don't preach that lie. And preach so that lie. The woman lie. ain't got to cover her head. And the scripture they use, 11 chapter 1 Corinthians, that the hair is a covering. I want to strip that apart. That's right. I want PAW and, UP and UPC to get this because I know you're watching. Yeah. Them preachers write me all the time. I tell them, stop writing me. Just step in the square circle with me. <laughs> See, if right. I don't take the Bible, I'll beat you to your knees. That's right. Either you're going to do it right or you're going to go to hell with the Holy Ghost. That's right. You don't get credit for some of it. No, no. The Bible said a little leaven leaven if the whole lump. Amen. You got to do all of it or you don't get credit for none of it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Come on, son. Jeremiah chapter 4 and at verse 30. Follow me. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? That's the problem in the churches. The people are spoiled. Spoiled. Spoiled the Spoiled. congregation. Yeah. It's God ain't looking at your outward. He just looking at your heart. It's too much emphasis on the <laughs> outward. You just got to have the love. The love. Just have the love of Christ. God ain't say, looking brother. at something so little as your earrings and your diet. God ain't worrying about your pearls. It's going to be pearly gates. <laughs> streets going to be paved with gold. They'll that, tell you all. And tell you the, anything. The brother, the colonel, my brother, ooh, ooh, praise the Lord. <laughs> That's right. Praise the Lord. Them old long fake fingernails she got from Walgreen. And Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Beauty ain't something you buy. Preach it, brother. Beauty ain't something that come out of Walgreens and CVS and That's Amazon. Right. That's right. Go ahead. Man. Bible tell me the things that God made, it was good. It was good. Why it ain't good enough for you? That's right. That's right. The way God made you, why is it good enough for you? Amen. You know your lips ain't that color. Mm -hmm. You know your cheeks ain't that color. Right. You know your eyelashes ain't that thick. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You know your eyebrows, your eyebrows don't look like that, like you Dr. Spock. <laughs> and you got these men. Who, you notice the men becoming more timid? Yeah. Even they are their eyebrows. Oh, yeah. What's the matter with you? <laughs> That's right. That's uh, right. Eyebrow arch grown man. Mm -hmm. With his pants hanging down. Yeah. That's a mixed up combination. He got his eyebrow arched like a woman, showing his behind like a prostitute. That's right. And then claim you's a man. You ain't no man. Amen. Even a dog got a tail to hide his private part. Go ahead. Am I right? That's right. That's right. What did the holy book say? And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? What's it going to do? Though thou closest thyself with, Close crimson, yourself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, and what? Though thou rentest thy face with painting. You rent yourself with what? With painting. With what? With painting. How good it looks. In vain. Oh, no, no, no. No, it looks good. In vain. Oh, she's cute. In vain. Beautiful. In vain. In vain. Be all in the mirror. All in the mirror. That's right. Then get that thin line to trim it. That's right. And then kiss his, her, her boyfriend or her boyfriend. second husband or her first husband. And all that sticky mess be on his lips. <laughs> That's right. In vain. It's what? In vain. All them fake fingernails, nail designing everywhere. Fake diamonds all in your nails looking like Jezebel. That's right. What? In vain. Look at the preacher's wife. Like Brett Jezebel splits all in her clothes, Split. showing her thighs and her calves. Mm. Yeah, yeah. In vain. one leg east, one leg west. Her toenails all painted Go up. Ahead, man. Ankle in chain on church people. That's right. And then you don't want no one to look at you like a prostitute. That's right. And stop wearing the label as one. Amen. What is the chain around your ankle and the Holy Ghost got in common? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Well, I look like coming up here with my pants hanging down. My Lord, my Lord. Can you imagine Pastor Jennings with That's his pants hanging down? Pastor you Jennings. look at me like I'm a fool. <laughs> That's right. Well, brother, what are you getting upset at a man looking at your wife? Shirt cut down the head, cleavage all showing, yeah. skin tight pants showing every groove of her flesh. That's right. Ankle chains on and she's in her 70s. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, Preacher your wife dressed no longer than my jacket. Yeah. Ain't got a split in that. That's right. And he don't see nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. In vain. The Holy Ghost said. In vain. I don't blame the people because they don't know better. That's right. 
So I said, well, my preacher don't preach it. I just know he don't. <laughs> That's right. You know why he don't preach it? He want to see it. You, amen. Preacher amen. want to see it. Want to see it. He don't want to see that sister with that deep cut neck supposed to be shouting in the church. <laughs> That's right. She jumping, he's jumping. He's jumping. She jumping, he come right next to her. <laughs> huh? That's right. The Holy Ghost said. In vain. In vain. Shalt thou make thyself fair. You make yourself look good in vain. Thy lovers will despise thee. Lovers going to despise you, they're going to seek your they life. Seek thy life. Give me the book of Genesis. Now in the book of Let's Genesis. Let's see what the Bible call your jewelry. Genesis chapter 35, we're starting at Real verse quick, 2. Real quick, my clock is ticking. I then, want to see all you in the church. Then Jacob said unto, he, unto his household. What? And to all they that were with him. Yes. Put away the strange gods Put that are among what? you. Put away what? The strange gods that are among you. Are you wearing a strange god? Wearing a strange god. Put away the strange god that's with you. And be clean and change your garments. Get cleaned up and change your clothes. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods. And what else? Which were in their hands. And? And all their earrings, which were in their ears. And, and what? And Jacob hid them under he the oak, under the which is by Shechem. First Timothy. Amen. Chapter 2. First Timothy. Begin at verse 9. Amen. And then First Peter. Chapter 3. Right. And the third verse. First Timothy chapter 2. Some folks say, I didn't come to hear this. You come to hear the word. <laughs> That's right. If you thought I was any different in person than what you see on television, you mistaken. That's right. Sadly mistaken, Pastor. I'm the same way. That's right. Huh? That's right. I'm not like these preachers that you know they one way, one day. No, not me, brother. <laughs> oh no. Thank God. We come with the word, <clears throat> hit you right to it. And when, That's then, right. when you see us in person, we don't be bad child of God. Oh no. Oh, no, thank God. That's why that stuff punch you over television. <laughs> Sometimes right. you be looking at it, oh, I can't believe he said that. We said it. Right. And we don't apologize for none of it. That's right. Listen at this. First Timothy chapter 2 and at verse 9. That's what? In like manner also. In like manner also. That women adorn, women adorn themselves, themselves in modest apparel. In what kind of apparel? In modest apparel. What kind? Modest apparel. What's so modest about a miniskirt? That's right. So modest about showing your breasts, this is. Amen. So modest about you wearing something with your back all out. Yeah. That's not modest. No. Shorts and hot pants on women. That's right. That's right. That's not modest. That's right. Bare arms all the way from shoulder down all out. That's not modest. No, no. Okay. I don't blame you. You don't know no better. So if you get offended by what I'm preaching, my job is to preach it. Yeah. I have to preach it. Have to preach it. Why? I don't want you to go to hell. That's right. Well, Pastor Dennis, I'm going to a church that don't preach it. Then you're in the devil's church. That's Remember, right. if I use the term the subject, are you in the church that Jesus yes. started? That's right. Not Pastor Dennis. I would, look, if it was left up to me, I wouldn't care what you wear. Amen. Hmm? I wouldn't care if you wore a trench coat and nothing on under it. <laughs> That's right. What would I care? That's right. Your bishop don't care. Why would I? Yeah. But here I got to come with the Bible to dress you up. Strip your bear with Bible. Oh, yeah. So when Jesus come, you can escape hell. That's right. When these churches come tell you, God ain't looking at your outward, he's looking at your heart. Don't you tell me that God tell a man it's a shame for him to have long, long hair. hair. That's outward. That ain't his heart. No. His heart don't grow hair. That's right. Yeah. You long-haired men like a bunch of sissies. That's right. A man with a bun. A man bun. <laughs> Amen. We men don't put a bun and we men don't plait our hair. Do it not even the nature Bible itself is teach against, it? It's against plaiting of the hair. That's right. The Bible, you will see that in the third chapter of 1 Peter. First beginning Peter. at verse 3 says what? 1 Peter adorning? chapter 3 and verse 3. Who's adorning? Let it not be that outward adorning of, what? of plaiting the hair. What else? And of wearing of gold. What else? Or of putting on of apparel. But what? But let it be the hidden man of the heart. In that? Which is not corruptible. Ain't no man or woman should be plaiting their hair. Get that trash out of your hair. That's right. You're a man and got your hair plaited like a woman? That's when right. When I look at a man, I should know I'm looking at a man. Yeah. When I look at a monkey, I know I ain't looking at a roach. <laughs> That's true. Ain't no roaches that big. Am I right, I said? That's right. Go I ahead, look at Pastor. a gorilla, I know I'm looking at a gorilla. I know there ain't no roach beating on his chest. <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> That's, right. Huh? That's right. Who's Google. adorning? Who's ador Come on, Google, let's have it. Who's adorning? Let it not be that Let outward adorning. Be. Let it not be. Let it not be. 
And the Bible says, let it not be. That means don't have it. That's right. Don't allow it. That's right. Don't, don't participate. Don't indulge in it. Whose adorning let it not be. That outward adorning. Of what? Of plaiting the hair. What else? And of wearing of gold. What else? Or of putting on of apparel. But, but let, let it, it be the hidden man of the heart and that which is not corruptible. Even the ornament, the ornament of a meek and quiet, quiet spirit. And the ornament of what kind of spirit she of got to have? Of a meek and quiet spirit. Right then, that blasts the woman preacher because she ain't meek and quiet. No. She's up there yelling like a man. That's right. That's right. First Timothy 2, 9. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Let's get the pearl wearers. In like manner also that women adorn themselves. Here we got the Bible again. Again. You can't wear that in Geno Jenner's church. Jesus said, upon this rock, I build my church. Don't my blame church. you for to put me in it. That's right. Get you involved. Don't get me involved. I wouldn't care if you wore a barrel and roller skates. That's right. My job is to preach what's written here. That's it. That's it. Pastor Jenner, why they don't preach that in my church? Good question. Hmm. Because it's the devil's church. That's right. Are you in the church? Started by the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, he said, upon this rock, I build my church, my church, and now we got to see is the teaching in your church that's in here. That's right. If your teaching is in your church that's in here, then that's God's church. Yeah. But it all got to be in there. Oh, yes. What is it? First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. What? In, in like manner also that women adorn themselves, adorn themselves. in modest, modest apparel. Modest, modest. No modest. splits in your modest. dresses, no splits in your skirts, no deep cut necks, no back out. Nothing hugging your body, showing every little shape you got. That's right. No pants on your daughter's daughter only five years old and got her ears pierced. That's right. Lipstick on your nine-year-old daughter. That's right. Grandma wearing wig, mama wearing wig, daughter wearing wig. Three generation of wig wearers. Amen. Grandma got a mini skirt. Mama got a mini skirt. Daughter got a mini skirt. That's right. Grandma got a mini skirt, a cane, and a hearing aid. Amen. Amen. Look at the way you raise your daughters. Yeah. You send your daughters outside with these old lustful fool men, skirt that big, blouse that big, and you don't see nothing wrong with it. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Uh oh. In the book of Leviticus. See, they ridicule me for calling names. Yeah. Give me the book of Leviticus. In Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. What I'm preaching will protect your entire house. Oh, yeah. Give chapter and verse. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. That's what? Do not prostitute thy daughter. Why do the Bible advise us not to prostitute our daughter? To cause her to be a whore. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You better read that again because you know they're going to blame me. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. Tell us some, some station's going to bleep it. <laughs> That's right. What did it say? Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. 1929, when the stock market crash. <laughs> That's right. What is it? Do not prostitute thy daughter. Look at what you're doing, men of you women. That's right. You got your daughters outside half naked. Yeah. She don't know where her mama is. Amen. And you set your daughter between the legs of some man yeah. or some boy. Yeah. That's right. This is old holy teaching. Oh, yeah. Take oh, you yeah. back to the foundation of truth. That's right. The Holy Ghost says what? Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to years be ago, a whore. Years ago, you wouldn't find these little half naked dresses and skirts in churches. No, no way. No way. Even the Catholics didn't allow it. That's right. Now the Catholic uniform is only about that big. Amen. Amen. Backside hanging all out, breast hanging all out. And the preachers don't see nothing wrong with it. And many of the old mothers that used to get on the young girls, now they, they doing what the young girls are doing. That's right. And they called me a, a, a primitive preacher. Yeah. Caveman preacher. Said I'm behind the times. Nope, I'm up to date. <laughs> That's right. That's right. God, I'm so up to date. I know what the devil's doing. Amen. 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 Little girls out here Little with girls. halters on. Little girls. Halters. Yeah. 12 years old, her lips red and got some shoes on tied all the way up a calf. That's right. Little mini skirt on, going to church, earrings in the air, dyeing her in hair. hair. You parents, my God, help your soul. You got your daughter's hair green. That's on. Right. You ain't got no rules That's on the right. house. Whatever the children want to do, you say amen to it. Yeah. Ain't a child born to boss your parents. You parents can't put your feet down and govern your house. You shouldn't have had no children. That's right. 
I know world, you men just knock these girls Preaching. up and have babies, and you girls just lay there like an open, perfect sleeper. That's right. Let Mo, Larry, Curly, Jerry, Lewis, Tom, and Jerry, <laughs> everybody stop in. Everybody stop in. I'm trying to shut your prison door down, and you trying to get everybody on parole. Let them in. That's right. Yeah. Preach it, man. And then got the nerve to ask, who let the dogs out? <laughs> That's the devil out of hell. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. The Holy Ghost said. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her Don't to Don't even be have her out there looking like one. With that right. ankle chain on your wife's legs. On oh, yeah. your daughter's legs. On daughter. And you don't see nothing wrong with it? That's right. You didn't even wear that stuff when you was a teenager. Now you wait till you get to your 50s, 60s, 70s and wear it. And you think it look cute? It don't. It don't. Amen. They don't. Amen. I don't care what your husband told you. He's a liar just like you. <laughs> That's right. Let's see what the Bible said. Well, Pastor Jen, I got a word that's to please my husband. You got to please God first, first. if it just please your husband. Yeah. God first. Oh, yeah. Look at your past life. The Bible said if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. A new creature. New creature. That's right. You was a pimp in your past life. You ain't got the business being a pimp now. That's right. That's your past life. You was out there walking. You ain't in church now. No. Bible said if any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. He is new. Old things are passed away. Your wig is an old thing. Your fake. You see these fake eyelashes these young girls wearing now? Look like they got a paintbrush on your face. That's Every right. old fool style that come out, yeah. you keep up with it. Keep up with it. And the only thing, every time your daughter want it, mama don't say no. That's true. Like she got a paintbrush on her face. <laughs> That's right. You know your eyelashes ain't six inches long. Amen. Getting stuck in doors. <laughs> the way these young people out here look is trifling. It's something. Young girls outside pajamas, That's bedroom right. slippers, a bonnet with rollers in the airport. No shame. That's right. You ain't got no shame. No shame. Don't even care how you look. That's Just true. send your daughters out like this. Every old rotten, trifling, prostitute look. You love it. Amen. And here I come preaching. Be holy. Be holy. Look holy. Yeah. Live holy. Mm. And they say, that man crazy. <laughs> That's right. All right, look at it this way. You out there in the street with your club clothes on, mm -hmm. half naked, and your husband ready to fight a bunch of guys yeah. because they, they looking at his meat. Looking at it. That's right. The Bible says the man, the husband, got power over the wife's body. So, you know, that's his meat. Right. But Pastor Jenny, don't say it like that. What else can I say? <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> that's right. You, if you got a husband, that's, that's his meat. That's his meat. <laughs> I got a wife, that's my meat. That's right. That's right. Now, I didn't marry my wife for all the advertise her meat. Right. Now, if I'm going to let my wife come out with a mini skirt showing all these big legs, something cut down, showing these breasts, then why in the world would I want to fight a man Go ahead. from looking at what I allow? Yeah. If I'm going to fight someone, let me fight myself. That's right. That's right. Knock, knock yourself out. Yeah. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, I believe, you know, man, if you got it, flaunt it. Mm -hmm. um, and suppose somebody try to take it. Yeah. With that type of dumb thinking. That's you right. got it, flaunt it. Really? Why would you want your wife to flaunt her goods? And that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Book of Revelation says what? In Revelation. Do you see all this Bible? That's right. I have to put Bible in your face. Yeah. See, are you in the church? Oh, yes. By the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. He says what? Revelation chapter 3 and at verse 18. Uh -huh. And that the shame, shame of thy of nakedness, nakedness do not appear. Don't appear. And anoint thine eyes with thy salve that thou eyes mayest see. I say so you can see what's see. right. Leviticus 10.10 10 says. Leviticus chapter 10 at verse 10. 
That what thou, did Moses tell the people? And that she may put difference. No, be the same. That she may put difference. What? Between holy. Between holy. And unholy. Uh-oh. And between unclean. Between unclean. And clean. Put difference. You're a new creature and you ain't no different. 11th chapter of the book of Corinthians, then we'll get baptism so we can close out. Yes. 1 Corinthians Let's chapter 11. Let's get this covering business. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, we'll start at verse 4. All right. Every man praying or prophesying. Every man with, praying or prophesying. Having his having head covered. Having his head covered. Dishonoreth his head. And please don't tell me that the Bible's telling the man to put hair on. That's right. Don't be that foolish. Don't embarrass yourself with that type of ignorance. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. Every man praying or prophesying. Having, having his, his head, head covered. Covered. Dishonoreth his head. Hey Amen. You can't, a man not, is not supposed to wish up God with his hat on. That's right. That's dishonoring God. That's right. All right. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered. What is it? Dishonoreth her head. All right. Then tell us who is the woman's head. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 2. Says what? Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things. And keep the ordinances as I delivered them unto you. Yes. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And, and the head of the woman is the man. And yet if she don't cover her head, she do what? Every man, every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. And the head of the woman is the man. Read on. For that is even all as if she was shaven. Look at it. God look at your bare-headed worshiper as if she's hair, and like, she, like she got her hair cut off. That's right. Real quick. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. Yes. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or then shaven, let her, what? let her be covered. Let her be covered. Yeah. Covered. Now, I want you to look at the term covered. Covered. Uncovered. Mm -hmm. Now let's get covering. Now down uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, we're at verse... Uh, Quickly now. We're at verse... 15. All right. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her. But what? For her hair is given her for a covering. Hold it right there. It is the bishops and they ignorance. You say, you see that? It's given her for a covering. So that means she ain't got to have nothing on her hair. Right. You're so ignorant. Covered. Uncovered. Covering. Three different words. That's right. When a thing is uncovered, it's bare. That's right. When a thing is covered... Then that thing is not seen. Right. Covering is in the process of that to be covered. That's right. Covering means incomplete. Incomplete. In other words, if me and my brother Howard laying carpeting here, and some sisters come in here and say, Pastor, do you know what y'all doing? I say, well, we are covering the floor. Come back in 15 minutes. Right. We'll be done. That's right. They come back and say, oh, Pastor, do you know the floor looks beautiful. It's covered. Covered. But before then, we were covering. covering. That means in the process of to cover. That's right. When a thing is covering, it's incomplete. Right. When it get cold, that woman tell her daughter, put something on your head. It's cold out there. I don't want you catching the cold. Well, she got a covering, which is her hair. That's right. Her hair is a covering. covering. But what do you tell her? Cover. That's right. The covering. That's right. The covering means incomplete. That's right. When you don't have nothing on your head, you wish up in God bareheaded. bareheaded. And that dishonors the man. That's right. And it also dishonors God. First Corinthians. Because she ought to have power on her head. Because of the angels. Read chapter and verse for this. First Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 10. That's what? For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head. For what reason? Because of the angels. The power that she got to have on her head is that thing that's designed to cover her head. That's right. It shows respect and honor to the angels, the angels. in heaven. And it shows respect and honor to the man on earth because the angels of heaven got the shape of man. Shape of man. You'll find that in the book of Daniel. Daniel say even the man. Man, Gabriel, Gabriel flew swiftly. Flew swift. And then what it said? Daniel chapter 9 and verse 21. That's what? Days while I was speaking in while prayer. I was speaking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In prayer. Even the man. Even the man. Gabriel. Gabriel whom I had seen in the vision I've at the beginning. The vision at the being beginning, caused to fly swiftly. He flew swiftly. Touched me about the time of the evening the oblation. Time of the evening oblation. All right. Matthew 28, 19. And Acts 38. Let's close out now. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. All right. Little rock. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Baptizing yeah, yeah. them. See, are you saved? That go for you too, preacher. That's right. If any of you bow your head and raise your hands and say you accept Christ as your personal Savior, you're not saved. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, sir, you're not saved. You're You've not. been lied to. That's right. If any of you was told to join the church, you're not saved. That's right. If any of you prayed in this prayer, you're not saved. You're not saved. If any of you say, hey, well, Pastor Jennings, the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that he rose from the dead, Thou shalt be saved. That's right. But it didn't say you are. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. It said you shall be. That's right. It didn't say you are. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. And what? And shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead. You are saved. Thou shalt be saved. Oh, no. Amen. Preachers say you are saved when you do it. Thou shalt be saved. Bible says, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. The name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is Jesus, and he's the Christ. That's right. Just like my name is Jennings, but I'm a son at birth, and I'm a husband, get marriage, and I'm a father because my wife and I got seven youngins. <laughs> That's right. I know I'm a father. Amen. Yeah. You got seven of them. You got seven of them. Seven of them. I'm an established father. That's right. But what's my name? That's it. If I tell you to do something in my name, you're not going to say son, and you're not going to say husband, and you're not going to say father. No. You're going to call the name Jennings. That's right. And Matthew 20 and 19, when Jesus told them to go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, there was no baptism being performed there. That's he right. was giving them instructions how to do it. Yeah. And then after he died and came back, he opened up the understanding of the apostles and they knew how to do it. Right. So Matthew 20 and 19 was fulfilled or it was done and Acts the second chapter and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. No, join the church. Peter said unto them, repent. Pray a sinner's prayer. Repent. Bow your head and raise your old dirty hands and accept Christ. Repent. Touch the television, let Christ come in your heart and preach and say lord jesus i'm a sinner wash me save me white as snow and the preacher said looking at you on television and said if you said these words you're saved my friend no if you said those words you ain't got nothing my friend then peter said unto them repent that goes for any of you here i don't care what liar you watched on television right. or internet you can repeat the sinner's prayer a thousand times <laughs> a day i did it a lot pastor you did it a lot oh yeah did you get saved at all not at all Amen. He ain't get saved until he repented of his sin. That's right. And got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. The Lord hallelujah. filled him with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Otherwise than that, he wasn't saved at all. At all. And you ain't either. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I want you to hear me, Arkansas, the whole state. Got to obey what Pastor Peter preached. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized. Every pastor, every bishop, Amen. every so called apostle, every prophet, every evangelist, every elder, if he not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, he ain't saved. He saved. I don't care if it's your father, your mother, your husband, your sister, your wife, your daughter, your slap, happy grandpappy, your That's son, right. or your daughter. That's right. You got to do it like the Bible or you're still a sinner. That's right. And if you don't do it like the Bible, you're not in the church that Jesus started. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Did you hear what the word of God said? Amen. Anybody want to get right and obey what the Bible says and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ the right way. Right. So when Jesus comes, you don't be dropped in the lake of fire. Stand on your feet if you want to be baptized. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Stand on your feet now. You want to be baptized? Isn't that wonderful? Hallelujah. All of you that are standing, go right to the back, please. All of you that are standing, go right to the back. Hallelujah. All right. Now, let me work on those who say they were baptized, but was baptized in Jesus' name. Yes. That's not a baptism. That's not a baptism. Don't so say, what? I thought you baptized in Jesus' name. No, I don't. No. I baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Or the word Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Because there's more than one Jesus in the Bible. That's right. There ain't no one in the Bible was baptized simply in the name Jesus. Jesus. That goes for Paul Pitt down. You better investigate what you have. That's right. And make sure you got it right. That's right. The Bible says in the book of Colossians 3.17. And whatsoever ye do in word. You see, there's more than one Jesus in the Bible. Yeah. For years, the apostolics taught it was two Jesus, but it's more than that. Oh, yeah. You got more than one Jesus. You got uh, Cain, or not Cain and Abel. You got Jacob and Esau. Jacob and Esau. The name Esau in Arabic is Esau. Well, in the English translation, Esau is Jesus. Moses minister, yeah. Joshua. There are no J's in the Hebrew language. Right. So to pronounce, the, to pronounce 
how you properly pronounce Joshua in Hebrew is Yahashua. Right. Well, in English translation, that name is Jesus. Jesus. In the New Testament, you had one name, Bar Jesus. And you had another one named Jesus Justice. Yes. So you just can't baptize simply in the name Jesus. No. So when you find anyone that said, I've been baptized in Jesus name, you ain't baptized. That's right. You got to go back, go back and get it like Peter preached it That's in right. the name of Jesus Christ Jesus. or the way Paul preached it yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do, what? do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. No, just Jesus name. Do all in the name of the Lord so Jesus. If you just got Jesus, which one you got? Which one you, got? you got Joshua hmm. or Isa, bar Jesus. Amen. Jesus justice? Or do you got Jesus Christ that distinguish him from all other Jesus? That's it. That's it. So if you've been baptized already, Jesus, you better check and make sure you just ain't got Jesus name. Jesus name. You got to do it just like it's written. That's right. And before you can claim you in the church. That's right. That Jesus started on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem. Yes. Eh? Amen. Then Peter. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of be you. Baptized every one of in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody else want to be baptized? Stand on your feet now. Yeah. If not, come on back tomorrow. Amen. Come on back tomorrow. We don't get you tonight, we'll catch it tomorrow. That's right. Amen. All right, Little Rock, we thank God for all of you. We're looking to start a work here, as always, like every place else. Yeah. We have more locations to start than I have ministers to go. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way it is. Literally, everywhere we go, we have an instant congregation first trip. That's right. It'll take some men almost uh, several years. To get 50 people. Oh, yes. We go somewhere and got an instant congregation, all like instant like coffee. Amen. Amen. But the laborers are few. Laborers are few. Yeah. But that's all right. God willing, we're looking to put Little Rock, Arkansas on the holy map. That's right. Get some old fashioned teaching in here. Yeah. Amen. We thank God for all of you. Everybody to be born again, you've got to repent of your sins. You just got to do it. Got to do it. You've got to repent of your sins. You must go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. If you don't do this, I'm telling you, you've never been saved. I don't never care who saved. you are. If you got baptized in the Catholic Church, you didn't even get a good shower. <laughs> That's right. The Bible ain't never tell you, stand, here we watch your back because you have people still coming now. If you got baptized, Ties in the Catholic Church, you didn't, you never got baptized. No. All they do is take you to a bowl and sprinkle you. Sprinkle. Your whole body has to go down in water. That's You'll right. find that in the sixth chapter book of Romans. The Bible said, beginning at verse one, what shall we say? Shall, we? shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin? Live any longer therein. Know you not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, Therefore we are buried with him. Sprinkled with him. Buried with him. By baptism into death. If you've been in the Baptist church and Methodist church and all that stuff and got baptized, all of them baptized wrong. Wrong. Right. All of them. All the Baptists, the Methodists, the Catholic, the Presbyterian, the Lutherans, the Pentecostal, they all, all baptized wrong. That's right. Some of the Pentecostal baptized right, but then they got one thing right and next thing you know wrong. If a woman preacher baptized you, you still ain't baptized still right. Baptized. You got the right name, but you got the wrong performance. That's right. No one said, now how can you see that, Pastor Jennings? Jesus came to John and said, thus to become us. Us to fulfill all righteousness. To fulfill what's right. That's right. All righteousness. Jesus was the candidate and John was the baptizer. That's right. Huh? That's right. Jesus was the candidate, John was the baptizer. You don't have nowhere where God gave a woman the authority. Go ahead. To baptize nobody. Go ahead. So even if a woman baptized you in the name of Jesus Christ, right name, right name. wrong performance. That's right. You got to do it just like, just like the word of God says it before you can claim you're in the church. That's right. That's started on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem. May God bless you. Come on back at 11 o'clock. All of them going to get baptized tonight. And uh, yeah, yeah, Brother Brandon already getting himself together to baptize. All right. While they're getting themselves together, let us all stand. Unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Only wise God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to him be glory and power both now and forever. Brothers and sisters, say amen.